For today's tutorial, you will be needing two weight for yarns, one for your main color and one for your accent color, two crochet hooks, one 3mm and the other 4mm, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. We'll be starting off with our main color yarn and our 4mm hook. Now insert a slip knot into your hook and tighten, and chain 12 by yarning over and pulling through the loop like this. Now that we have our 12 chains, we're going to look for the second loop from our hook and insert our hook into that loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So that will be a single crochet and we're going to repeat this until we reach the end of our row. Now that we've reached the end of our row, we're going to chain one and turn our work to the other side. And this row will be the same concept, it will be a single crochet, except we're going to be working in the back loops. So we're going to insert a hook into the V, but only yarn over and pull through the single back loop, and yarn over and pull through both, and we will be repeating this process until the end of our row. Once again, at the end of your row, chain one and turn your work to the other side. And what you're going to do is repeat the previous row until you feel like the panel fits comfortably around your wrist. And a friendly reminder to always chain one at the end of your row. So I've decided to stop at about 18 centimeters or 33 rows. Of course, they will be different for everyone. So the next step is to attach the two ends together and first we will put the two ends together like this and insert our hook into the back loop of the first side just like we've done for the previous rows but for the second side we're going to insert our hook into both loops like this and then single crochet by yarning over pulling through like that and we will repeat this process until we reach the end of our row. So now that we've reached the end of our row, I wanted to point out that it might look like the part we just attached is kind of sticking out but don't fret because we're going to turn our work inside out at the end anyway. So our next step is to chain two by yarning over and pulling through like this. And what we're going to do is half double crochet. To do so, yarn over once, insert your hook into the project, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And what I recommend, and the best way to put this, is to just insert your hook into wherever there's kind of space for a stitch and do this step until you reach your first stitch. And once you get to this step, we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch just by yarning over, pulling through, but don't yarn over again and just pull through the loop that was on your hook. So for the next row, we're going to chain twice, just like the first row, yarn over, and then half double crochet into the project. And just like the previous row, when you get to the end of your row, what you're going to do is slip stitch and then chain two, half double crochet again, and you're gonna repeat this process until you get to five total rows of half double crochet. After you finish your fifth row, instead of chaining two like usual, slip stitch into the adjacent stitch and then chain two and work half double crochets all around the row until you reach the second to last stitch. So 
So the last stitch you're going to leave unworked and you're going to chain two and turn your work and you're going to half double crochet around this row and you're going to notice that we're not going to connect the work so there's going to be a little gap and you're just going to repeat this process just half double crochet chain two and you're going to do this until you reach four rows of this section So I just finished my fourth row of a section and what we're going to do is attach our work. To do so, put our work together and we're going to slip stitch the two ends together like this and just yarn over and pull through like so. And we're going to chain two and work half double crochets all around the work. And we're going to do this until we reach three rows for the section. And just like we've done before, we're just going to slip stitch when we, once we get to the end of our row just to connect them and then chain two to start our next row. So now that you've finished your last row, don't forget to fasten off and cut your string. and pull and don't forget to also flip your work inside out that is a very important step and now you're finished your foundation wrist warmer now take your accent yarn and insert a slip knot into the same four millimeter hook and find the place that you fastened off on your wrist warmer and what you're going to do is insert your hook and insert a slip stitch like this in order to connect the yarn then chain one and single crochet in that same stitch what you'll be doing for the rest of the row is to just single crochet along the top of the wrist warmer and what I recommend is stitching with the loose ends in between like this and this helps to kind of hide the loose ends so that you don't have to weave them in later on and once you're done, make sure to fasten off and don't forget to slip stitch into your first stitch when you're done. Now repeat this process so that you have two identical wrist warmers. Now let's make the star attachment. Take your accent yarn and your 3mm hook, and I know I'm not using my 3mm hook in this video, so please ignore that, and make a magic circle. If you don't know how to make one, I'll insert a helpful video in the description down below. And chain three. And we're going to make 15 double crochets into the magic circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over once, pull through, and then you're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to repeat this, like I said, until you have 15 double crochets in your magic circle. So once you're done your 15 double crochets, pull the little tail that's left behind until you get a circle. And then you're going to slip stitch into your first stitch to attach the ends together. Now chain five. And in the second chain from your hook, you're going to single crochet and in the next chain, you're going to half double crochet. In the next chain, you're going to double crochet. And in the final chain, you're going to triple crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over once, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And then count three stitches from your chain and then slip stitch into that third stitch. And you're going to repeat this process until you get the five sides of the star. So once again, 
chain five, single crochet in the second chain, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, and then triple crochet in the final chain, and finally slip stitch into the third stitch from your chain five. Your star should look like this near the end, and once you're finished, fasten off like usual. Repeat the process again so that you have two shining stars. Now take your darning needle and what we're going to do is weave in the loose ends of our star into the back side. And if you don't know which side is the back, it should be the side that doesn't curl up like this. And so there is no exact way to do this, just make sure that it's thorough enough so that the loose ends don't come out. And we're going to do this because it'll be easier for us when we stitch in a star into the wrist warmer later on. Perfect, so now that you're done weaving in the ends, we're ready to stitch our star to the wrist warmer. Now take your darning needle and a generous amount of yarn that you can use to attach the star. And I don't know why I use that much, but you know, it's better to have more than not enough. So I inserted a diagram on the top right of the general idea of how I'm going to stitch it. So I'm just going to start by inserting a stitch from behind. And this is very important that you do it from behind like this. And then what I'm going to do is just stitch back and forth around the outer edges of the star until I reach the top again on the right side. Now that I've finished with my needle, I'm just going to cut off the excess yarn. And in order to make sure that it doesn't come apart, I'm just going to take the two loose ends from the beginning and the end and tie a double knot like this. Now I'm going to flip my work inside out and weave in the loose ends into my work. Now repeat this process again with your remaining star and wrist warmer. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial for these adorable wrist warmers. Don't forget to subscribe and tag me if you ever do make these wrist warmers.